Welcome, welcome to the Margin to another segment here, the guests I'm about to discuss have with something that is very interesting. If you are also watching me back at home, karibu sana to Mamlaka Breakfast. This is Mamlaka Breakfast coming you live from Nakuru City. Facebook page yang wiko open, Mamlaka TV, Grace and Jerry. Na on other social media platforms, we are also live. If you're also watching me on Mamlaka TV, Pang 146, karibu sana. Namba ilio kwenye screen, ni namba mba unaweza kuzungumza nami katika studio na pia katika uku vinje unaweza zungumza nami. Uh, we are talking about uh, raising a godly child. Ama tunasema raising godly children. Na nikona guest wangu hapa vi kwenye studio and we have missed her when she was away. <laughs> So umemumweza. But finally, we have bring... Tumemureta. Mm -hmm. And takuwa na kupeleka kwa ke moja kwa moja. Tusikie sauti yake. Na tusikie tukumbuke. Kwa umesau jina yake, atukumbushe. Tusisahau jina yake. Good morning. Good morning to you. Okay, salama. I'm happy to see you again. Thank you. After a long time. Mm -hmm. Nimekua ni melindua. I'm mm -hmm. so happy to see you. Mm -hmm. And to be here. You ever, you ever looking young, young ever. Really? Mm -hmm. Surely. What's the secret? It's grace. It's efficient. The grace is efficient. Ninema. Tunasema ninema. Mungu wakitaka tu wendele kufanya kazi. Hili news was trend. And mkizeka mtatombia mnazeka kwa nini. Kama wazasuri mwa wazeki ya tukubali. Kwa sababu tunajua kazi ni mingi. Na sasa ni. Tuwasaidie kufanya tu uh -huh. eh, in your generation. Uh -huh. Yes. Karibu sana yes. for another time. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we will have a wonderful time hapa hivi kwenye studio. Sure. But uh, meanwhile before tu ingi kwa discussion yetu, mm -hmm. ingi teneka mtazamaji ya kujue jina yako, mm -hmm. umetoka wapi. Mm -hmm. eh, kwa hala mba wa kukumbuki, walikuwa mm -hmm. mekusahau kidogo, tumumrukumbushe. <laughs> <laughs> Ataza maji wa Mamraka TV show ya Wednesday uh, raising or parenting uh, majina yangu ni Reverend Damaris Muranja niko pale kanisani wa Hope in Christ International Church I'm a mother of four I'm married to one man and I'm happy to be here mm -hmm. <laughs> Lazima to specify married to one man yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> one man, not a woman. Uh -huh. One man. One and man. A mother of four. A mother of four. A grandmother of four. Grandmother of four. Yes. Mother of four, grandmother of four. Yes. Ah. Very nice. Okay, <laughs> pale mwana tazama. Karibu sana, we are having Reverend Damaris Moranja mm. hapa vikwenye studio and we are talking about raising a godly child. I'm yes. a raising godly children. Mm. Kyo pale vyo nyumbani, it's not, uh, unezo changia badu kwa, kwa mada yetu, but tukiangalia mwada Moranja yes. into our discussion, mm -hmm. raising a godly child. Mm -hmm. Tukiangalia godly child, who is a godly child? Uh, huh. A godly child ni mtoto mbaya melelewa na wazazi mbao wanajielewa wakiwa wa kristo ama wa mcha mungu kwa sababu mara mingi wazazi wakijua kumcha mungu kizazi chao kinaelekezwa kwa ma kwa njia za mungu kwa sababu mara mingi mzazi kama haja juana na mungu pia mtoto hata juana na mungu so majukumu mengi ya natokana na wazazi ili wawale watoto wakiungu like now and I Katika familia yangu, mm -hmm. nilikuta mamangu ya meokoka. And then my grandparents, amawa nililaze. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, uh, my grandma child. Mm -hmm. Nililewa na shosho yangu. Mm -hmm. Na shosho yangu na gukawa, guka, my grandfather was a full gospel. Uh -huh. uh, elder mm -hmm. na my grandmother liko wa PCA mm -hmm. so the combination and my mother was a full gospel uh, member mm -hmm. so ni, mimi kulelewa kwangu mm -hmm. nilitikuta ninapenda mungu zaidi kwa sababu kila pahali nikienda mm -hmm. watu wote ni kama wana mpenda mungu mm -hmm. so nikaonyeshwa njia za mungu yeah. nikapenda mungu mm -hmm. na mpaka sahi mm -hmm. sijawahi toka kwa mungu mm -hmm. na nikukumbushe maandiko nasema ya kwamba katika timotheo paura na mwambia timotheo ya kwamba ah. ile imani ukonayo mm -hmm. ilitoka kwa shosho yako mm -hmm. ikaingia kwa mama yako mm -hmm. tena iko kwako yeah. kwa hivyo tuna imani ama matumaini makubwa mm -hmm. ya kwamba wewe timotheo generation ambayo inakuja pia mm -hmm. you will affect it mm -hmm. eh, with the godly faith kwa sababu imetoka mbali so tukisema godly children it is about the parenting from the parents then continuing nimekua na some instances where by the child anasema mimi nimeokoka juma mangu ni ameokoka like ukubu yangu ni ya mzazi si ya mzazi ya mzazi ya mzazi but tunashanga what is happening strike sema ukubu yangu mina inda kanisa juma mangu wa inda kanisa aha kuna kuna lakini nimekwambia mimi mm -hmm. nimelelewa na wazazi ambao 
nilizikuta tu mm-hmm. kwa wazazi ambao wanapenda Mungu mm-hmm. lakini ikapifika pahali ya, lazima tuhubiri watoto wetu tu mm-hmm. ni kuokoka ni nini maana mm-hmm. watoto wetu hawajui mm-hmm. wamekuja kanisani wamekuja mpaka Sunday school mm-hmm. lakini Sunday school wanapoingia mm-hmm. hawafundishwi wokovu ni nini mm-hmm. hiyo ndio inatuletea shida mm-hmm. ya kwamba kama hawajui kumpokea Kristo awe mokozi maana ni moyo unaamini mm-hmm. kisha kinywa kina kile kina kile ume, umeamini mm-hmm. ya kwamba nimeamini Kristo mm-hmm. alikufa kwa sababu yangu kabeba sadabi zangu mm-hmm. ufukara wangu na kila kitu alikuja kwa sababu yangu mm-hmm. na moyo wangu umeamini hivyo yes. na ninataka nina kili ya kwamba mm-hmm. yeye ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu mm-hmm. uh, hiyo ndio inatusaidia mm-hmm. lakini kama watoto hawajajua hivyo mm-hmm. watakuwa Sunday school mm-hmm. waingie teens waingie youth mm-hmm. lakini bado wanasema wameokoka mm-hmm. na watoto wanaokoka wakiwa wadogo sana mm-hmm. mimi kwanza niliokoka nikiwa class 5 class Nil, nilianza kuhubiri nikiwa class 5 ulianza kuhubiri kwa class 5 yes hold on mm-hmm. director hapo hiyo nyuma class 5 yes. ulikuwa unafanya nini kazi yako ulikuwa unaiba mandazi ama ulikuwa unahubiri <laughs> eh nilikuwa nahubiri uh-huh. na nilijikuta mpaka nikienda kuchunga kondo za, za babu yangu maana uh-huh. nimekwambia mimi nimelelewa na babu yangu uh-huh. nilikuwa ninahubiria mpaka kondo uh-huh. na, na ku, ku, kwenye tulikuwa kulikuwa na kichaka mingi saa hizi ndio ukakuna vichaka uh-huh. ni kama kumekuwa kichaka zimeisha eh, uh-huh. lakini nilikuwa nahubiria miti na unaona uh-huh. ya kwamba ni kama inakusikia uh-huh. unaihubiria ukiwa kato toka dogo au juu unasema nini uh-huh. lakini kwa sababu umelelewa hivyo uh-huh. baadaye ndio nilijua kabla ni kabla nianza kuhubiri uh-huh. ndio nilijua uh-huh. umuhimu wa kupokea Kristo kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yangu uh-huh. so nikajipeana nikakili nikaombewa uh-huh. nikabatizwa ile ubatizo wa maji mengi uh-huh. uh, si batizo ya uh-huh. karai hapana uh-huh. si ile ya kupaka maji nilibatizwa uh-huh. kama Kristo mwokozi wa maisha yangu na sijui kama ungeza pia producer wangu <laughs> advice jua yeye apeni kubatizwa apeni uh-huh. maji mengi uh-huh. yeye anataka maji ya karai na ameokoka na anasema ameokoka hapana Paul, Paul says mm-hmm. follow my example as I follow Christ mm-hmm kumaanisha nini kuna mwenye mimi nafuata uh-huh. sijifuati sijiigi kuna mwenye uh-huh. amenitangulia ninamuiga uh-huh. na ni Kristo uh-huh. na alipoingizwa kwa maji na Yohana uh-huh. maandiko yanasema kwamba alipotoka ndani ya maji uh-huh. ndio Mungu alituma uh, jiwa uh-huh. roho mtakatifu kama jiwa uh-huh. akatoa juu yake na sauti ikasikika kutoka mbinguni yes. huyu ndiye mwanangu uh-huh. mapeke uh-huh. au mumski uh-huh. so mimi mara nyingi husema mtu ubatizo kama uh-huh. unafuata Kristo ubatizo ni ule wa maji, wa maji na Yesu hakubatizwa akiwa mtoto hapana mm-hmm. we dedicate kids mm-hmm. we don't baptize them mm-hmm. watoto wana wana uh, wanapokelewa mm-hmm. kama vile Yesu alipokelewa na na, na Simon, Simon. Mm-hmm. akasema sasa alipompokea mm-hmm. akampeana mbele za Bwana sasa hiyo shughuli iliisha ni ya mtoto amempeana kwa Mungu mm-hmm. lakini wakati anajua kuwa kuamua mm-hmm. anapelekwa anafundishwa ubatizo wokovu mm-hmm anaokoka na anafundishwa pia mm-hmm. ujazo wa roho mtakatifu. Uh-huh. So kuna mambo matatu, mm-hmm. kuna wokovu na fundishwa wokovu. Mm-hmm. Kisha ukiokoka unabatizwa, uh-huh. yeye unafundishwa kubatizwa ubatizo wa maji ubatizo. mengi, mm-hmm. kisha una, wakati huo unafundishwa mm-hmm. kupokea ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, tumekuwa na hii notion ambayo iko huko nje mm-hmm. inasema ya kwamba mm-hmm. watoto ambao huko kanisa mm-hmm. they are the spoiled kids. Mm-hmm au ndo wale rui wanaita mm-hmm. watoto rui mm-hmm. mm-hmm. nje so una ukiweka mtoto wa kanisa na uweke mtoto wa, wa dunia mm-hmm. unaona mtoto wa dunia kwa far much better mm-hmm. than mtoto wa, wa kanisa why is it what is the difference hapo hiyo ah uh, niseme hivi injeri ya kwamba mm-hmm. watoto wa kanisa ni kwa sababu walijikuta kanisani mm-hmm. na wazazi nao wakaokoka sana hawakuchukua mm-hmm. majukumu ya kufundisha watoto uh-huh. unajua sasa <coughs> kuna kuna sorry kuna kuna daily life tuko mm-hmm. duniani yes. na kuna mambo ya kidunia mm-hmm. kwa sababu mtoto akizaliwa kuna tunasemaga tukifanya kazi na ya kwamba mtoto kuna stages sita yes. <coughs> na stage ya kwanza ni ile aki, akianza akizaliwa mm-hmm. akianza kukua anaanza kila kitu anaingiza oro oro mm-hmm. stage kuna, kuna, yani kuna stages mm-hmm. lakini sasa hiyo aki, akianza kujua hiyo mm-hmm. ni maisha mm-hmm. ya kwamba mtoto sasa amezaliwa mm-hmm. anajua kunyonya yes. na kila kitu inafika wakati wa kukula kuna kukula mm-hmm. kuna wakati wa anataka anafundishwa kwenda kujipeleka cho yeye mwenyewe mm-hmm. kuna wakati anafundishwa mambo mengi mm-hmm. so maisha lazima tufundishe watoto wetu yes. ya kwamba kuna wakati atafika mm-hmm. afundishwe kunyonya kwenda cho mm-hmm. na vitu zingine na akiendelea anaanza kuona kuna changes kwa mwili mm-hmm. so usipomuelezea 
usipomwambie ni nini kinaendelea katika mwili wake mm-hmm. maana mwili bado unakuwa mm-hmm. kuna kuna vitu zingine ataanza kusikia mm-hmm. anatamani mm-hmm. na ndio unaona kuna stage sijui ni kama mwaka mmoja ama kutoka mwaka na, na, na miezi nane mm-hmm. mtoto anaanza sasa kujua ni wapi atakimbilia mm-hmm. ya kwamba kama we ni msichana mm-hmm. unasikia uko attached sana na baba yako mm-hmm kwa sababu gani kuna stage sasa umeanza kujisikia mm-hmm. the sexy the sexy life imeanza ku, ku, kuinuka kwako mm-hmm. sasa unajua i'm safe on the same on the opposite sex mm-hmm. nikiwa na baba yangu mimi nikiwa msichana i'm safe, I'm safe. Mm-hmm. so watoto wasipofundishwa wazazi wakae chini na watoto wetu mm-hmm. tuwaambia kwamba stage hii na hii na hii lazima itakuja kwa maisha mm-hmm. so tuliwanyamazia watoto wetu kwa tuwa, sababu tumeokoka mm-hmm. na wako kanisani mm-hmm. tunataka wajue kivyao mm-hmm. uh, Ha, I'm a victim of so kwa sababu sikuwa na mtu wa kunifundisha hiyo mambo. Uh-huh. Nikajikuta mpaka wakati nimefika nime kikimo ya ku, kuanza hii period za mwa, mm-hmm. kila mwezi. Mm-hmm. Sina mtu wa kunielezea. Mm-hmm. So ni siku ya kwanza ilikuwa shida. Mm-hmm. Maana sina mtu ananiambia nimejikuta katika hali mm-hmm. na unajua sasa shuleni pale tuko tunafundishwa sana kuhusu haya mambo. Yes. So ni nilikufikiria nimegonjeka ugonjwa gani umeraruka umeraruka mwili yani nini ni shida hauko una mtu wa kukwambia mm-hmm. lakini mimi i add normally women yes wafundishe watoto wao the stages of life mm-hmm. njoo wakifika pahali akutana na kijana aanze kumwambia anampenda aanze mm-hmm. kumuguzaguza mtoto huyu atajua kwa sababu ameelezewa mm-hmm. and fundisha mtoto as early as possible yes. umwambie jinsi ya kubadilika kwa mwili mm-hmm. na nini amebeba mm-hmm. hii ni mikono ni ya kufanya kazi gani hapo mm-hmm. mm-hmm. umesema the lead the women mm-hmm. wafunze watoto mm-hmm. ni nini hiyo ambayo wana, wazazi wa the female wanaogopa mm-hmm. sana mm-hmm. kuambia watoto wao Aha uh, like now unajua kuna mambo mengi kama now sex mm-hmm. Was, wazazi hawawezi wa inafika pahali mpaka sasa wacha nikwambie mm-hmm. kizazi chetu kibacho eh, kilikuwa mbele yetu <laughs> and I'm afraid to say this ni, ni ya kwamba tulikuwa wanafika pahali mm-hmm. baba waza, watoto wameanza kuwa wakubwa yes. baba anahama kitanda mm-hmm. anaenda kulala kitanda kingine na mama kitanda kingine kwa sababu ga, sasa watoto wameanza kufikiria mambo mengi mm-hmm. so wakati mnaingia bedroom mm-hmm. na mnafunga mm-hmm. watoto wanaanza kufikiria mm-hmm. ili wasifikirie hayo mambo mm-hmm. yanakuwaga kwa wazazi na wamezeeka Aha. sasa muna, wanahama Muna, munaanza kuishi maisha e, e, tunahama mm-hmm. bedroom ni tofauti mm-hmm. lakini kama tungeambia hao watoto wetu kutoka mwanzo mm-hmm. ni nini kinaendeleaaga katika maisha kwa wangekuwa sawa mm-hmm. tunawafundisha tu, mm-hmm. tu lakini sijui kama ni uoga ama ni sijui na inaitwa tuweze itaje ni uoga ama ni nini umeongea hivyo nikakumbuka kuna wakati mtoto mmoja alikuwa very curious akauliza mamake <laughs> watoto wanatokanga wapi <laughs> kidogo mzazi akamwambia watokaa kwa supermarket mm-hmm. Since so can a supermarket to come here my kid to go to daughter. Mhm. Akwa. Ako to go to daughter. Mhm. Same mo tra but can a supermarket. She come to daughter twenty nine you buy. Mhm. Ika shanga. Mhm. Why are they tra- parents not transparent with their kids? Atukua uh, wazazi walikuwa nafikiria watatuharibu ama wana kuna kuna uh, sijui there was somehow like shame mm-hmm. sababu sasa hii hi kitu ya ya ya, ya sex haifanywi everywhere mm-hmm. so ni something inafanywa pahali silini hivyo mm-hmm. so mambo mengine hautatungetaka ama wazazi hawangetaka watoto wajue yeah. lakini sasa yanafundishwa shuleni watoto wakiwa wachanga sana True. na of late ni kama kila kitu iko like now nje ile ukipata mimba ni kama yeah everything is open mm-hmm. na nika, nikasema siku nyingine hapa wakati wa harusi mm-hmm. tulikuwa tuna, tuna wa, wakati wetu wa miaka hiyo mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunajua harusi ni ya watu wawili watakatifu mm-hmm. ambao hawajalala pamoja mm-hmm. hawajajuana kimwili mm-hmm. hao ni ndio harusi mm-hmm. si harusi ya siku hizi mm-hmm. watu wamelala watu wame wako na mimba wako mm-hmm. kanisani wame kwako madhabahu yeah. haikuwa hivyo mm-hmm. kwa hivyo msichana alikuwa kama waisraeli mm-hmm. walikuwa msichana kifika kimo ya kuolewa mm-hmm. lazima ili wajue mm-hmm. the boy or the man has married a virgin Mm-hmm. alikuwa anatandikiwa na wamama kuna wamama oh. alikuwa responsible mm-hmm. kwa bibi harusi ameoleka pahali analala wanatandika mm-hmm. kitanda na shuka ya white na mm-hmm. bed ya white mm-hmm. so asubuhi wanaenda kuangalia so wasipokuta damu mm-hmm. wanajua msichana alikuwa amejinajisi Mm-hmm. So ilikuwa dhambi hata sasa ni dhambi mm-hmm. kwa watu kuonana kimwili kama hawajawana mm-hmm. maana ngono ni ya wa 
near the married people mm-hmm. sex is for the married mm-hmm. not for everybody yes yes ya kila mtu mm-hmm. so tunaona kuna shida siku hizi maana kuna 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 mtu anatamani katoto kadogo unaona ana anakaribu mm-hmm. mzee tu ana yani yani akili zetu sijui zilienda wapi mm-hmm. akili za wanadamu sijui zilienda wapi ni kama yeah. za wanyama mm-hmm. Una, unatazama katoto kadogo tu mm-hmm. na ni pengine ni mtoto wako mm-hmm. ama ni mtoto wa jirani unamtamani yes. mm-hmm. so gono ilikuwa ni the married people mm-hmm. na the married lazima ukioleka Mm-hmm. ilikuwa na story uoleke na harusi mm-hmm. na watu wote wajue harusi tafatifu and this is why we were saying last mm-hmm. time with you there is courtship mm-hmm. there is friendship mm-hmm. wa ya kwanza tusema tukitoka friendship tunaenda courtship mm-hmm. kisha tunaenda dating kwa sababu mm-hmm. dating kwenda kukunywa kahawa kwa sababu mm-hmm. tumejuana mm-hmm. now we can naweza enda kufanya dating kama hauja court Mm-hmm. na courtship ilikuwa ina inaonyesha watu wote marafiki wazazi ya kwamba huyu kijana mm-hmm. tulianza friendship tumejuana tumependana yani tumekuwa na urafiki mm-hmm. urafiki si wa ule wa ndani mm-hmm. ni urafiki wa kujuana mm-hmm. na nimejua watu wao anajua watu wetu hivyo mm-hmm. kisha tunaingia kwa courtship courtship inamaanisha ya kwamba sasa tuna, watu wote wanajua sisi ni marafiki so we can start dating and ilikuwa kama watu walikuwa kanisani ilikuwa sasa tukipatana ukipatana na nikipatana muranja mm-hmm. lazima kuwe na rafiki mm-hmm. msichana ama wa best couple mwenye atatusaidia mm-hmm. mm, iye safari ya ndoa mm-hmm. lazima tukutane tukiwa si nitembelee muranja <laughs> akiwa peke yake <laughs> yes if you are watching me back at home back at your workplaces this is mamlaka breakfast you can continue interacting with us kwenye comment section na ningependa kwanza tupate advertisement moja ya conference ambayo tunakualika wewe mtazamaji mm-hmm. aliye katika mji wa Nakuru City ninakupeleka moja kwa moja hadi Wisdom for Success a conference Apostle Junior na Pastor Mary Leisido wa kanisa la Redeem Gospel Church Njoro wanawakaribisha kwa kongamano kubwa sana Kingdom Wisdom for Success Conference kuanzia tarehe 5 hadi tarehe 9 mwezi wa saba yani siku tano za ajabu kuanzia saa kumi na mbili asubuhi hadi saa kumi na mbili jioni mkutano huo utakuwa kwenye viwanja karibu na Walmart Central Supermarket kuhubiri kutoka Tanzania mchungaji Daniel Mgogo kuna jirahisi jipi wewe Jitambue wewe ni nani ijue thamani yako na pasta tumaini akilimali atahudumu kwa nyimbo za ibada na sifa kumbuka ni tarehe 5 hadi tarehe 9 mwezi huu wa saba yani mwezi wa Julai katika uwanja ulio karibu na supermarket kuu ya Walmart Jo upokee hekima na nguvu mpya ya kuingia ndani ya neema ya ajabu we provoke we raise incense to the corridors of heaven usikose Yes nyote mnaalikwa katika mkutano huo mkubwa ambao inaanza katika tarehe tano hadi tarehe tisa mwezi huu wa Julai 2023 we go back to our discussion of siku ya leo mm-hmm. raising a godly child yes. uh, kwa society rena mm-hmm. mahali tuko mm-hmm. uh, ningetaka kujua since you are a parent of four children mm-hmm. a grandchild of four children mm-hmm. how is it uh, difficult ama how is it easy mm-hmm. raising children in a godly way in our current society. Okay, raising uh, godly children in our, in our time ama mm. katika maisha unajua sasa we are in the 21st century mm-hmm. ambao iko na, na mambo mengi tumekuwa na media social media mm-hmm. tumekuwa na te- television zizi zinaziko na vitu nyingi. Mm-hmm. Alafu sasa kwa sababu shetani sijui kama anatumia watu, mm-hmm. anatumia tu wanadamu mm-hmm. kwa sababu sasa ukiangalia vitu ambazo zinaletwa kwa television mm-hmm. zinakuwa vitu chafu zingine ni obvious mm-hmm. sana. Yeah. Social media kwa kwa simu unakuta kuna vitu zingine mpaka pornography mm-hmm. lakini niambie mzazi ya kwamba raising a godly child is a battle of or raising a child, a child mm-hmm. or kids mm-hmm. it is a battle mm-hmm. tujue hivyo ya kwanza mm-hmm. ya kwamba ni vita kulea watoto mm-hmm. ni vita maana shetani anajua tukilea watoto wa kiungu mm-hmm. hakuna hakuna mambo ata wataondokea mambo zote na zile shetani ameachilia ame mm-hmm. katika ulimwengu wetu mm-hmm. lakini sasa kama wazazi wangekubali wazazi wakubali wajue hii ni vita mm-hmm. na maandiko yanasema wacha nikusomea ndiko mm-hmm. katika um, hmm, uh, Psalm 127 mm-hmm. verse number 3 mm-hmm. inasema 
watoto ni riziki kutoka mm-hmm. kwa Mwenyezi Mungu mm-hmm. watoto ni tunzo lake kwetu sisi Mm-hmm. Watoto waliozaliwa waliozaliwa uh, wazazi wakiwa bado vijana ni kama mishale hebu sikia mm-hmm. kwa sababu sasa watoto waliozaliwa wewe ukiwa kijana na, mm-hmm. na mume wako akiwa kijana because mm-hmm. nao Mungu alikuwa anataka watu waone mm-hmm. wakiwa wa, wa miaka yao na tukasema the, the age ya mm-hmm. ya msichana kuoleka 25 years mm-hmm. you are mature mm-hmm. my mind zako Uh, pads zako za mwili ziko machua sasa you can handle you can carry the pregnancy you can know how to to nurse mm-hmm. the child mm-hmm. na hata pia ile 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 shughuli za kunili mpata watoto ile shughuli ya sex mm-hmm. ukiwa nyumbani utaiweza mm-hmm. sasa ma, me, mwili wako umekomaa kiango ya kwamba you can handle it mm-hmm. so maandiko yanasema watoto ni riziki kutoka mm-hmm. kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na watoto ni tunzo lake kwetu sisi mm-hmm. anatutunza na watoto mm-hmm. so ni, ni kama ministry mm-hmm. tunzo ni kama like now mimi ama minister mm-hmm. Mungu amenipea huduma kwa sababu mm-hmm. ameniaminia mm-hmm. na pia wazazi wanapopewa watoto Mungu mm-hmm. anakuaminia anajua mm-hmm. hiyo ni ministry ya kwanza mm-hmm. na kanisa linaanza nyumbani mm-hmm watoto wetu kanisa linaanza nyumbani inaanza nyumbani mm-hmm. kanisa linaanza nyumbani mm-hmm. ama mafunzo mazuri na tabia nzuri zinaanza nyumbani mm-hmm. mtoto anajulia vitu hizi kutoka nyumbani mm-hmm. lakini basi fua anasema mm-hmm. watoto waliozaliwa wazazi wakiwa bado vijana ni kama mishale mikononi mwa askari mm-hmm. ni mtoto akizaliwa na wazazi wakiwa vijana lakini mm-hmm. nao sisi Uh, ha, watoto wetu wamekuwa wakubwa sinakwambia sisi ni ukanda shoshoko uh-huh. <laughs> wa miaka hii watoto so uh-huh. tunaona watoto wetu ni mishare kwa sababu tuliwaza tukiwa bado like, katika miaka yetu ile si ya uzee uh-huh. si ya ujana sana si ya uh-huh. utotoni ni ya ujana uh-huh. na nikasema hivi hata bibi nasema ehea anapokaa kama mtoto uh-huh. haridhishwi uh-huh. kwa sababu ni mtoto, mtoto like nao ma asa uh, mtoto mdogo mm-hmm. hawezi kupea gari ya endeshe huwezi mwaminia mm-hmm. lakini mm-hmm, the bible says in isaiah mm-hmm. ya kwamba to us a child is born mm-hmm. but a, a son is given mm-hmm. with the authority kwa mabega yake uh-huh. ya kwamba ana, ana mamlaka mabegani mm-hmm. mwana ana mamlaka lakini mtoto amezaliwa mm-hmm. so mtoto akizidi kuwa mtoto mm-hmm. hata ridhishwa hata Mungu hataweza kutulidisha mm-hmm. na hivyo ndivyo maandiko yanasema wazazi wakiwa bado vijana si watoto mm-hmm. ni ujanani unajua how to handle the husband mm-hmm. na ha, kijana anajua now I'm a husband to somebody mm-hmm. I behave like one mm-hmm. lakini siku hizi watu wamekataa kuzeeka mm-hmm. eh, wanataka tu kukaa kama ni msichana ngozi kwa mama ni, 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 ni mama nyumbani lakini mm-hmm. anavaa vibaya mm-hmm. unaona mama amevaa vitu zingine mpaka ngo ndani hakuna mm-hmm. yani amevaa kama ni ile 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 sleeper ile ngo za kulala eh hata mm-hmm. sisi za kulala kuna zingine tunavaa mpaka ni kama leggings mm-hmm. zina tunavaa tukiwa nyumbani sasa mwili yote inajichora mm-hmm. mpaka kijana wako amekuwa mkubwa mm-hmm. na ametua haya mambo sasa anaangalia mama hivi anaona anaona mama mwili wake wote mm-hmm. unaanza ku ku kuinua hisia za mtoto mm-hmm. na amekuwa mkubwa hakuoni so, kama mama yake hakuoni mm-hmm. kwa sababu sasa umemwanikia mwili wako wote mm-hmm. so tabia zingine zimeanza nyumbani mm-hmm. tumnavaa vibaya na umekaa kwa kiti umekalia miguu iko juu kwa sababu mm-hmm. kuna television pale kuna simu mambo zingine mm-hmm. lakini kama wazazi wangekuwa na tabia nzuri mm-hmm. kama vile wazazi wetu walikuwa wanatuonyesha mm-hmm. walikuwa wanaogopa sana watoto wasijue mambo zingine mm-hmm. kwa mapema sana waziingilie kabla mm-hmm. na ndio nimekwambia kwamba tulikuwa tunagojea uharusi ifanyike mm-hmm. tuone ya kwamba ana kijana anaambia funua sasa you can now unveil the, the, the bride mm-hmm. lakini sasa una unveil nini huko nje huko ni fupi iko juu kabisa mm-hmm. hakuna kitu umefunika itafunuliwa nini na ulifunua kitambo huko <laughs> chini nguo zimeanza eh, mpaka eh, matiti ziko nje mm-hmm. wakati wa harusi atafunua nini tunajiuliza tu ni nini itafunuliwa so hata hata mm-hmm. ndoa hata ndoa haina maana siku hizi mm-hmm. maana ni nini hatujaona mpaka wa, wake wa watu wanatembea vibaya town mm-hmm. huo ni mbaya sana mm-hmm. watoto yani tumeharibu generation yetu mm-hmm. kwa sababu hatuna maadili mm-hmm. hatuna maadili kama wazazi we have lost our mm-hmm. our touch with mm-hmm. these kids mm-hmm. naweza mfundisha nini mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hakuna. so society na familia hakuna kitu ambacho inaweza kufunza watoto wetu at this generation yes. this generation 
Mungu ata ana, 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 ana nafasirika tu. Mm-hmm. Mungu Mungu anatukasirikia tu. Mm-hmm. Because we are not mindful of the generation. Mm-hmm. Na kwambia mama nyumbani anakaa vibaya sana. Kijana wake yako pale amekuwa mkubwa. Na unajua siku hizi vijana wanakuwa mpaka wanakuwa na mili haraka mm-hmm. sana. Yeah. Kwa sababu wanakula fast foods. Mm-hmm. So mwili mwili ime, imekuwa kimekuwa kikimtu tu. Amekuwa kama mzee hey, kwa hiyo hey, hey, mm-hmm. So akipoona hivyo ana anashindwa kuelewa ni mama ama eh So you you can see mpaka watoto they are raping their own mothers. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are raping or they have sex with their own mothers. The fathers the same. Mm-hmm. Mtoto kamekuwa kakubwa sana. Lakini wewe mama ubarishi mtoto vizuri? Mm-hmm. Ne. So sasa unataka mtoto aende akamasaji aka babake kichwa na kunajua katoto hakajui. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo kuna stage unaondoa msichana kwa baba yake anavaa vizuri. Mm-hmm. Si kumpelekea babake kama amevagi ene hauli mm-hmm. e macho macho ni ya kuona ni ya pasia <laughs> na unajua mambo mengi inaingilia kwa macho mm-hmm. ili uharibike macho yanapeleka message mm-hmm. so akili zinaanza ku kufikiria eh, eh, unaona mambo iki, mambo iki, macho ikiona inapeleka huko mm-hmm. mambo inaharibika so you are recommending uh, mm-hmm. maadili mema yaanze tukiwa wadogo sure to grow una to grow with those maadili kwa sababu mhm hebu nikusomea methari 22 Nadhari 22 nikuonyeshe kitu. 226 inasema mm-hmm. mfunze mto, mtoto namna ya kuishi vizuri mm-hmm. naye hata sahau njia hizo hata uzeeni. Mm-hmm. Nini tumefanya? Maana mwandishi huku na kitu anaf- anasema mm-hmm. mfunze mtoto namna ya kuishi vizuri akiwa mtoto mfundishe ni mtoto si si mtu si mtu mzima anaambiwa unaambiwa mtoto mm-hmm. mfundishe mtoto jinsi ya kukaa vizuri na anaendelea kusema naye hata hata sahau njia hizo mm-hmm. hata uzeeni mhm aya akisahau hizo njia kiwa uzeeni mm-hmm. who's to be blamed is it the parent the society ama ni kanisa uh, kanisa kanisa lina lina kazi yake mm-hmm. wazazi wana kazi yake mm-hmm. na dunia iko na kazi yake mm-hmm. so kanisa linaanza nyumbani tumesema mm-hmm. hivyo mm-hmm. kanisa lianze nyumbani mm-hmm. maadili mema yaanze nyumbani tukienda kanisani tunaenda watu ambao wame wa, wakona maana saa zingine tunaenda kanisa once mm-hmm. people go to church once eh, maybe sundays mm-hmm. na watoto wako kwa kwa sunday school, school. Mm-hmm. na mpengine hata mwalimu hajafunzwa mm-hmm. jinsi ya kuhandle watoto mm-hmm. amesikia tu wako na mwito lakini hajajua mm-hmm. so kanisa kwanza lianze ni kwa nyumba e. mm-hmm. so kama tutafeel nyumbani hata mm-hmm. kanisani hatutaweza aha umesema kanisa iko na role yake tungetaka mm-hmm. kujua mm-hmm. what is the role of the church in raising godly children mm-hmm. uh, kanisa liko na majukumu yake mm-hmm. kwa sababu hakuna kitu kingine tunafundisha kule kanisani ila neno la Bwana. Mm-hmm. Iyo ni neno tu, maombi, neno jinsi ya kukaa ukifurahisha Mungu. Mm-hmm. Na kama hautaenda ni kama vile tulikuwa tukisoma, nikuulize Jerry. Uh-huh. Tulikuwa shule, tulikuwa napewa homework. Uh-huh. Ilikuwa ya nini? Ya shule. Eh, <laughs> ilikuwa ya nini? Ni ya kukusaidia kwamba mawazo yako bado mm-hmm. yako intact ya kwamba yako yani hautaenda ulale usahau kulikuwa na kazi ulikuwa unafanya. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo hata mwalimu alikuwa anatupea lesson ya kesho ndio mm-hmm. akikuja haifanyi research mm-hmm. eh haitakuwa ngumu sana mm-hmm. kwa mwalimu akifundisha maana za zingine tunapotea yeah. na, na ndio tunasema hata kanisani mm-hmm. ninaweza kuwa nimesimama pale ninahubiri na unaangalia watu hawashiki kitu uh-huh. mindi zao zime zime kuna wale ambao wamelala eh, kuna wale ambao eh, eh, wanafanya shughuli eh, zao eh, wengine mm-hmm. si siku hizi mpaka simu unasema tunasoma mm-hmm. anachukua simu <laughs> lakini si simu ana kuna ni chatting mm-hmm. so mara mingi maadili yanaanza nyumbani mm-hmm. sababu kanisani hatutaweza sana kuwasukumilia mm-hmm. tunakuja kwa furu kwa kwa remind you whatever mm-hmm. you have been doing in at home mm-hmm. so if you have not been doing this at home mm-hmm. itakuwa ngumu sana hata kanisa ikusaidie mm-hmm. eh itakuwa ngumu sana Wow. Mm-hmm. If you also watching me back at home, back at your workplaces, natumai kwamba unapata maarifa bora hapa hivi katika kipindi chetu cha msiku ya leo. Mm-hmm. That is Mamlaka Breakfast coming to you live from Nakuru City, Mamlaka TV. Hapa hivi katika Jiji, katikati la Jiji. If you also watching me on Facebook, karibu sana. Mamlaka TV is my Facebook page. Grace join another Facebook page ambayo niko live na pia on other sh- social media platforms. Karibu sana. Also if you watching me through YouTube, welcome, welcome, welcome as we continue interacting and get to know how we are going to raise our children and how we are going to save this generation ambayo tuko nayo saa hii ambayo tumeona kidogo imepiuka, imekuwa rotten. We have a rotten generation right now. 
Okay, there is there is something I have been saying and uh, I, I will still uh, mention it here. Mhm. Ya kwamba kuna kitu nimekuwa nikifuatilia, ninasema mara mingi. Mhm. Siku hizi haina watoto. Mhm. Ah ah. Siku hizi hatuna watoto. Ah ah. Siku hizi haijazaa watoto. Uh-huh. Watoto ni wetu. Okay. Mm-hmm. We, we are, we are ni kama watu wame, wame, wameanza kusema ya kwamba watoto wa siku hizi. Mm-hmm. Lakini mimi niko na swali ambao mm-hmm. mimi huuliza mara mingi na ninauliza mpaka nikikutana na kwa mikutano ya mama. Mm-hmm. Watoto siku, siku hizi ilizaa lini? Mm-hmm. Mimi nimezaa. Mm-hmm. Si watoto wa siku hizi si, siku hizi imezaa. Mm-hmm. Sijui kama unanishika. Si siku hizi imezaa. Ni mimi nimezaa mtoto. Ni mimi nimezaa mtoto mm-hmm. katika siku hizi. Mm-hmm. Aha, ni sema ni, ni put TV mm-hmm. ya kwamba siku hizi haijazaa haitaza. Mhm. Ni sisi tunazaa watoto siku hizi. Mhm. Kumaanisha ya kwamba mm-hmm. watoto wa wa, wa, wa kale mm-hmm. walikuwa na maadili kwa sababu walifundishwa na wazazi. Wazazi walikuwa na wa makini sana. Kama unamwona mama Mose katika mm-hmm. Exodus, mm-hmm. Exodus 2. Maana hiyo inasema ya kwamba alipopata mwana mm-hmm. akaona ni mzuri. Mm-hmm. Maana hiyo inasema ya kwamba alimtunza. Mm-hmm. Kwanza, kwanza akamficha. Mm-hmm. Kulikuwa na sheria ya mfalme ya kwamba watoto wote wakizaliwa wa kiume wa uliwe. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Lakini mama Mose anazaa mtoto anaona mtoto wake ni mzuri. Mm-hmm. Kumaanisha ya kwamba hata wakati kulikuwa na, na mambo, mm-hmm. hata wakati huo kulikuwa na shida. Mm-hmm. Lakini mama yake Mose alipozaa mtoto, mm-hmm. akamuona ni mzuri, alimtunza. Mm-hmm akamweka kwa nyuma mia, miezi mitatu mm-hmm. kisha alipoanza mtoto kulia na sauti kubwa sasa amekuwa mtoto mkubwa mm-hmm. sauti nasikika nje mama akatengeneza aka kikapu mm-hmm. ndio mpeleke katika bahari ama mm-hmm. mtoni amweke pale na mm-hmm. sister yake pia akamweka pale angaliage mm-hmm. ni kweli nafikiria huyu mama alikuwa na hekima ya kipekee mm-hmm. ya kwamba ninaweka mtoto wangu kwa, kwa kikapu mm-hmm. kisha ninaenda kumweka kwa bahari kwa, kwa mtoto mm-hmm. na kuna mamba kule mm-hmm. Si ndio mm-hmm. ulikuwa na mamba baharini yes. lakini ako na mtoto anaangalia anaangalia nani mtoto mtoto, mtoto mdogo mm-hmm. na, ili nini akiona mamba inakuja anarusha mawe pengine mm-hmm. na jioni ikifika kama msichana wa farao hajakuja kuoga anaita mama wanatoa mtoto wao baharini wanaenda uri naye nyumbani mm-hmm. I tend to think that na ndio nasema siku hizi haijaza Bahari iko na ilikuwa mm-hmm. mamba ziko na zilikuwa mm-hmm. mamba ziko mm-hmm. na zilikuwa maana mm-hmm. watoto watokagi mbinguni ni mama ni mzee na mke mm-hmm. wanalala pamoja mm-hmm. mama anabeba mimba for nine months mm-hmm. kisha anaza mm-hmm. anatuza huyo mtoto anatuatia anatupea mm-hmm. anatupea nini mm-hmm. what are you giving the world mm-hmm. what are you giving the community mm-hmm. ni nini hicho ume, umezaa wewe mm-hmm. na mume wako kisha mnatuletea katika ulimwengu mm-hmm. ni nini unatuletea kanisani mm-hmm. ni nini unatuletea shuleni mm-hmm. bana ni wewe ulizaa unatuletea sh- shuleni mm-hmm. unapelekea mwalimu shuleni unampelekea nini unapelekea mwalimu hey. Sunday school unampelekea uh-huh. hey, hey. unapeleka shule unampelekea nini mm-hmm. hey, hey. sasa utunze kwanza mm-hmm. kisha unapotuletea tunajua kile Ah uh, nimekuwa nikiona kilio kidogo kwa wazazi mm-hmm. wakisema mm-hmm. kwamba nimetunza mtoto mm-hmm. for nine months mm-hmm mmemza mm-hmm. amekuwa mkubwa mm-hmm. but now nimemlea kwa maadili mema mm-hmm. huyu mtoto ambaye nimemlea kwa maadili mema mm-hmm. anakuja na nigeuka mimi kama mzazi wake okay tujue nilianza na kusema mm-hmm. kulea ni vita ndivyo mm-hmm. nimeandika hapa as parents we ought to understand ya kwamba kulea ni bato mm-hmm. kwa sababu mtoto shetani hakuwa nataka kizazi kenye kinamhofu Mungu kwa hivyo mm-hmm. ana, anapigana na wewe na ndio unamuona Mungu ana eh, watoto wakiingia kwa tumbo mm-hmm. usiunaona ni, ni sio sikumbuki ni nani nilikuwa naambia kama sio wewe ama ni karioki pengine nilikuwa ninasema the first family mm-hmm. ya Adam and Eve the first family mm-hmm. they give birth to two kids mm-hmm. wa kwanza alikuwa anaitwa Cain na, na wa pili Abel, Abel. Mm-hmm. walifanya nini wali walipigana yes. wako wao la, ni nini wanapigania maana huyu anamjua kumcha Mungu mm-hmm. huyu mwingine hajui mm-hmm. huyu mmoja anajua kupeleka dhabihu kwa Mungu mm-hmm. na zile zinastahili kupelekwa kwa Mungu huyu mwingine hajui mm-hmm. kwa hivyo katika maisha ya, ya kulea lazima tutakuwa na hawa watoto wawili mm-hmm. kwa sababu bado shetani anajua kile anataka mm-hmm. kwa sababu hataki tufurahie kama wazazi mm-hmm. ya kwamba nimezaa mtoto amekubali kusoma amekubali mm-hmm. kukaa kanisani hataki mm-hmm. anataka mwingine awe mkora unasikia na ndio nasikia wakikuyu wakisema mm-hmm. mtoto kwa tumbo moja inatoka 
naweza toka mtugaji mm -hmm. toke daktari toke mm -hmm. mwizi mm -hmm. eh toke alshabab hiyo tumbo moja inaweza inaweza toka hivi uh -huh. kwa sababu bado ni vita kuzaa mm -hmm. kuzaa na kulea ni vita kali sana mm -hmm. ni kali so how should the, the woman ama the mother cope up with this situation aha uh -huh. to be on your knees always and um, the bible says uh, katika um, first samuel i think mm -hmm. wakati hana aliomba aliomba mtoto mm -hmm. mungu akampe mtoto mm -hmm. alikuwa amefungwa tumbo lake kwa sababu alikuwa yeye alikuwa anataka mtoto wa kiu mm -hmm. na, na hana alikaa nyumbani mwa bwana akilia mungu akimuomba mungu nipe mtoto mm -hmm. na ukinipa mpaka wakati aliingia katika nathiri mm -hmm. tuingie katika nathiri na, na mungu tumwambie mungu kile nitapata sio changu mm -hmm. nume nipea mm -hmm. na ni huduma umenipea mm -hmm. nituze watoto hawa hawa kisha nikurejeshe maana mm -hmm. mungu anataka tumrejeshe mm -hmm. kwa hivyo kwa magoti yetu mama ajue kile ninazaa maana ninataka kiwe cha faida mm -hmm. katika ufalme wa Mungu na community at large mm -hmm. nitaenda kwa magoti mm -hmm. lakini hatutaki kuomba hatutaki kuomba tunataka society tuombe ama society eh, tujenge eh, watoto tujenge watoto mm -hmm. haiwezi kuwezekana mm -hmm. we are so busy nowadays wazazi wako busy sana they don't have time with their kids mm -hmm. they don't have time na wakati uko na time simu ndio hiyo na kuna wifi is katika manyumba mm -hmm. kuna vipindi tunataka kuona mm -hmm. you don't have time with your kids. Mm -hmm. Niseme hivi uh, ha, wakati watoto wetu wana wana mtoto anakaa kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. Amekuwa mkubwa kuna simu yake anajifungia kwa room. Mm -hmm. Anakuja anaangalia thermos kama kuna chai anaweka anaenda ana, ana, ana nayo bedroom. Mm -hmm. Anachukua chakula anaenda nayo bedroom. Mm -hmm. Hautaki kumfuata mtoto ujue ni nini anafanya bedroom. Mm -hmm. so, Unaona how serious it is? Mm -hmm. It is so serious ya kwamba wazazi hawajui kile watoto wanafikiria. Mm -hmm. mpaka mtoto anaweza fikiria ku commit suicide mm -hmm. na mama hajui ama baba hajui. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu gani we are so busy. Mm -hmm. Uliona ule kijana aliua the whole family. Yeah. The mother, the father mm -hmm. and, the and the siblings. Eh, mm -hmm. Alikuwa na alisema nini? Nobody understood the guy. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Hata akichange behavior nobody knew. Mm -hmm. Hakuna mtu ali na, ma, na kisha tumekuwa Mungu amekuwa mbali sana nasi. He's no longer our father. Mm -hmm. is not an option to us. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu tuko na vitu nyingi shule iko na tunaweza lipa shule. Mm -hmm. Ehe. Yeah. Tunapeleka psychology. Eh, eh. mm -hmm. Tuna hata tuko na mashu, tunapeleka shule nzuri sana. Tuko na pesa. Mm -hmm. Haya tuko na insurance tukigojeka tuko na insurance. Mm -hmm. Nikasema siku nyingine kuna inchi wanasema kwamba to did in wrong need god. Yeah. Ili aachilie mvua. Mm -hmm. They know how to make it. Mm -hmm. Wanatengeneza chumvi kisha wanachukua rockets zinapelekwa zinapeleka chumvi juu mm -hmm. inatengeneza mvua after some time mvua inanyesha ina, ina, ina mm -hmm. so the, god is not an option to many mm -hmm. even in our families na wakati watu wameachana na mungu mm -hmm. the rottenness of the family begins with our children mm -hmm. tutakulia matunda so Ma mtoto akiwa rotten mm -hmm. the society where come that you are going to receive whatever you have yes. you are born yes we are there the people to suffer. We are the sufferers. Wow. Kwa sababu gani? Mm -hmm. Kama hauna time na mtoto wako, ni nini tena cha maana sana kuliko mtoto? Mm -hmm. Utajiri ni mwingi. When you talk I'm about so time, mm -hmm. Madam Oranja, mm -hmm. unamaanisha time kiaje? Juu tunapa, tunaona most wazazi wanasema uh, mimi sina mimi niko na kazi mingi ya kufanya, sina time ya kushinda nikisikiza Mm -hmm. in court mm -hmm. maneno za mtoto mm -hmm. e, reasoning yake ni ya kitoto when you speak about having time for our children mm -hmm. what are you talking about uh, having time with our children i mean ya kwamba we have time for devotion together mm -hmm. kama ni morning devotion we have time with them hata kama uko kwa kitanda omba na mtoto wako akitoka akienda shule hata mm -hmm. kama umechoka mm -hmm. kwa sababu sasa tutachoka lakini tutavuna kuchoka kwetu mm -hmm. Na unajua kila unapanda unavuna mm -hmm. if you don't have time with him mm -hmm. with the kids mm -hmm. with our kids mm -hmm. then itakuwa shida wakati watazeeka ama watakuwa watu wakubwa mm -hmm. sisi ndio tutakuwa na shida na time yao maana tutakuwa tuna, tuna watafutia counselors mm -hmm. tuna watafutia rehabs mm -hmm. kwa sababu we did not have time with them so mm -hmm. number one, have time morning devotion na watoto wako mm -hmm. have time na meals mm -hmm. eat with your children Dua mtoto anakula aje. Mm -hmm. Na mtoto akiharibika kuwa na time na wao. Unaangalia mtoto wako hivyo. Mm -hmm. Unajua mtoto anafikiria nini. Mpaka akiongelesha wow. uongo unajua tu mtoto mm -hmm. una unanidanganya. Una, una mm -hmm. I'm very sharp my, myself. Mm -hmm. Mtoto akiniambia uongo. 
I have a daughter in uh, Australia mm -hmm. na anaweza mpige simu wakati alikuwa na kabla hajaoleka. Mm -hmm. Na mpige simu na muuliza kwani uko wapi? Niambia kwa mamu niko niko pahali niko tu. Namwambia pahali huko na kuambia utoke hapo urudi nyumbani. Mhm. Mm na niweza kwani unaniona? Yes, I can see you. Mm -hmm. So kwa sababu kuna vitu hauwezi fungia watoto wako macho mm -hmm. na hauwezi wafungia macho. Na hiyo ndiyo ndiyo kitu ya maana sana kwa duniani. Mm -hmm. Kama Mungu amekuaminia kupata watoto, mm -hmm. amekudhamini sana. Mm -hmm. Mungu amekudhamini. So Jerry anasema hivi. Mm -hmm. Romans anasema we we say guard their mind. Mm -hmm. Romans anasema 12:2. Uh, anasema mm -hmm. don't be conformed to this world mm -hmm. because it has a form. The world has a form, its mm -hmm. own form. Mm -hmm. And godliness has its, its own, own form. form. Mm -hmm. So Paul anasema, don't be conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be transformed. Mm -hmm. Because now, alikuwa naangalia naona wazazi, tusipo kuwa wangalifu sana, tutalea mm -hmm. kitu kingine abacho wakita fraisha mungu. Mm -hmm. And this is where we are today as a society. Mm -hmm. This is where we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are raising up a generation that is not godly. Mm -hmm. People who are learning away from God because mm -hmm. we have so many options. Mm -hmm. Shule iko. Tumeweka insurance. Tuanza kuwekea pesa ya shule. Hawawezi fukuzwa shule. Mm -hmm. Maana nilianza kusave na wasome. Pesa mm -hmm. ya kusoma iko. Pesa ya chakula iko. Mm -hmm. Made ako. Driver wa kumpeleka shule ako. Mm -hmm. Lakini hakuna mtu wa kuweka maadili. Atuna. You don't have time. Wow. We are so busy. Wow. But we will eat the food. Mana. Mm -hmm. Tunda hali yangu kimbali sana na mti. Mm -hmm. Hali yangu kimbali. Tunda. Siwewe ni mti. Mm -hmm. Tunda lako litanguka. Hapo hapo tu. Mm -hmm. Hapo hapo tu. So we are the people to suffer. As spirits. Wow, if you are watching me and you are a parent, this, uh, this discussion, it's a very important discussion for you. It's a very insightful conversation. Happy with your studio. Mm -hmm. And tumaya kwamba, you are getting some, uh, kamo ko jetpata notebook, tafazali. Mm -hmm. It's your time size, uchukwe notebook, or replay nyuma. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of some information, but tumekwa pa vitu ki discuss. Sure. Now, if we are talking about raising a godly child, raising godly children, in our society, say as we speak, uh, say it kona stories are LGBTQ, mm -hmm. tu kona mtoto say that anamuka siku moja na sema, eh, mimi, by the way, mm -hmm. na is a Christian child, mm -hmm. mimi, by the way, sisi kaa nita ndawa msichana, mm -hmm. sisi kaa nita, nita, nita kuwa, nita kuwa kijana, nita kutransform ni kuwa msichana. Uh, hmm. Tulichukua Western night sana, mm -hmm. Na ukiangalia, I'm sorry to say this because I'm liko kwa media. Mm -hmm. Niseme hivi, like now, the kanisa la, la, I think it is Agrican. Mm -hmm. Ni kama waliachilia hiyo kuwawana kwa wake na wa, um, mm -hmm. paka kule. Na hiyo inatokana mpaka uingelezani. Mm -hmm. Mana sasa inaonekana mpaka there is a, something that is going to happen very soon. Mm -hmm. It is in the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. Ya kwamba kama inaachiliwa, kama vile uniona kama mpaka serikari yetu haikuwa na voice kuhusu LGBTQ mm -hmm. haikuwa na voice mm -hmm. na ni kama sherina inapitishwa mm -hmm. kumanisha ya kwamba hata wakati wa Sodoma na Gomora mm -hmm. ilikuwa hivyo mm -hmm. lakini as parents mm -hmm. we have a role to play mm -hmm. so, na ebu ni kwambie ni meandika hapa kitu mm -hmm. mesema advantages of raising a godly children mm -hmm. advantage ba, na mamonja mm -hmm. kids will be loved by God and worship him mm -hmm. so advantage ya kulea watoto na njia ya, mu, ya mm -hmm. mungu atakamu watatoka mm -hmm. hawaidagi mbaadi sana wanarudishwa lagisi mm -hmm. maromu tokatipu wa wanarudisha mm -hmm. so number one kids who love God and worship they will worship God mm -hmm. they will love God no matter what, mm -hmm. eh, ukiwalea na jia ya mungu, mm -hmm. ulazima watarudi kwa jia ya mungu. Number mm -hmm. two, they will be obedient and confident children mm -hmm. with a good future. Yes. They will have good future. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kuna kitu ina, ina ikondani yao, inawambia whatever you are doing, it is not right. Mm -hmm. It is no prison to God and to appearance. Mm -hmm. Itamuambia tu. The mira yao iko sawa. Mm -hmm. Ata kama utaona kiingia kule, uh -huh. there is still hope for yes. that kid. Mm -hmm. Number three, they love to pray and study God's word. Mm -hmm. Advantage ya kulea mtoto na njia ya mungu, mm -hmm. anajua, anapenda kusoma neno, mm -hmm. kuomba, anaji, anapenda sana. Mm -hmm. They'll be well behaved and well disciplined whenever mm -hmm. they may be. Mm -hmm. Hau takuwa na shida. Ukimulea mtoto na njia ya mungu, mm -hmm. you'll be confident. Ya kwamba mm -hmm. atapahali popote ako. I'm assured. Mm -hmm. Ana, akona discipline mzuri. Yes. Mana anaona kama mama ananiona, ma baba ananiona, mm -hmm. mungu ananiona. Yeah. Eh, anangalia atu anasema, ata kama ma baba na mama hawanioni, mm -hmm. macho yake anatazama juwa na juwa kuna mungu ananiona. Mm -hmm. eh. So that is the advantage. Number five, 
they'll be submissive to authority mm-hmm. eh? and honest in speech mm-hmm. and character they'll be honest mm-hmm. their speech hata wakitaka kudanganya hivi hawezi 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 kwa sababu kuna kitu ume instill ndani yake mm-hmm. inamwambia don't do that mm-hmm. don't do that mm-hmm. na hata akitoka kwa sababu ya peer pressure mm-hmm. bado atarudi hata ina mali sana hawezi potea sana mm-hmm. eh? anaweza pata mtoto wa kwanza nyumbani mm-hmm. lakini wa pili hawezi mm-hmm. eh? kwa sababu kuna kitu inamwambia whatever you are doing it is not right. Mm-hmm. Haya hiyo ingine ni ya kwamba they walk in the favor with God mm-hmm. and with all people. Kwa sababu wamelelewa na njia ya Mungu mm-hmm. kuna kitu inawasukuma wanajua yes. ya kwamba kuna wanakibali mm-hmm. na Mungu na watakaa kila wakati. Mm-hmm. Akisema ya kwamba mimi I know mm-hmm. it is the prayers of my mother. Mm-hmm. I know it is God with me. Mm-hmm. Hata sahau hiyo. Mm-hmm. Lakini siku hizi eh. kuna watoto hawajui ni Mungu. Mm-hmm. Anajua ni baba yao. Ni baba yao. Yes. Are you mm-hmm. ni ya kwamba they will live with peace with every with their neighbors and mm-hmm. their families mm-hmm. they were they were God's agent to change their at home mm-hmm. and church and the mm-hmm. community mm-hmm. and the society at large they will have peace with every good wako na amani watoto hao Wow that yeah. is a very insightful uh, discussion madam Damaris mm-hmm. Moranja yes. and tumia kwamba we will bring you again we discuss part 2 uh-huh. appear to go into detail of raising mm-hmm. a child mm-hmm. a godly child with mm-hmm. suicide ideas it's sure, it's sure. yes you, it's sure. you can be there mm-hmm. mzazi kwa pale ama pastor or anyone mm-hmm. that's working in the church but your your child ako na ideas of suicide mm-hmm. na ujui hizi ideas mm-hmm. zimetoka wapi mm-hmm. mimi nafanya mtoto wako ako na hizi ideas mm-hmm. we'll be bringing you to discuss more about it's that mm-hmm. but also if you're watching me thank you so much for being part of mamlaka breakfast ah uh, ambao tumekuwa tukidiscuss hapa hivi raising a godly child na ningependa madam Damaris Moranja akatupatia a parting shot tukimalizia discussion yetu okay as we part njeri ni sema hivi mm-hmm. watoto ni baraka yes Uh, ukiona Mungu ameku aminia kuwa na watoto mm-hmm. e, wachunge watunze mm-hmm. wapende hiyo ni baraka ya kwanza ni baraka mm-hmm. ya pili ni ministry tumepewa mm-hmm. ya kwamba hiyo ni huduma tumepewa yes. mm-hmm. na kuna kitu kizuri to present to God something that is good mm-hmm. give our bodies as a living sacrifice, sacrifice. Mm-hmm. acceptable as you give your body like, mm-hmm. uh, also the, the bodies of your children mm-hmm. uh, to be a sacrifice to him mm-hmm. ya kwamba niseme hivi tupende watoto wetu mm-hmm. they are gifts to us mm-hmm. ni mishare tunawaumsha mm-hmm. mbali na karibu mm-hmm. na tunawaombe sana watoto wetu mm-hmm. eh hey, kama mm-hmm. hana Hana mm-hmm. was there to pray for Samuel every mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. and she was able to know mm-hmm. mtoto anakuwa anamtengenezea nguo ya kila mm-hmm. mwaka umeshika hiyo jeri mm-hmm. hana alikuwa wa makini sana alikuwa na urafiki wa dhati na Mungu mm-hmm. na alikuwa anajua hata kama mtoto ako hekaruni ya kihudumu yes. kila mwaka alitengeneza nguo si size kama ile mm-hmm. alikuwa anajua mtoto anakuwa mm-hmm. so she was mindful about the kid mm-hmm. the growth uh-huh. tujue watoto wetu wanakuwa tuwapende mm-hmm. na tuambie kile kiko mbele yao mm-hmm. na tutawasaidia sana yes. na tutabarikiwa thank you so much madam Damaris Amoranja na ningependa mm-hmm. utufungie kwa maombi amen yes. situombe yes Baba wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa sababu wewe ni mwema tunakuamini kwa sababu baba yetu natupenda tumekuwa bwana na na manda ya kwamba watoto wetu tuwalee na njia yako Mungu na ninaombea mtazamaji wetu pale nyumbani kwa jina la Yesu ya kwamba atakuwa mzazi atakulelea watoto wako maana ni watoto wako mm-hmm. na utatusaidia bwana kufanya kila umekusudia katika jina la Yesu mm-hmm. na wabariki bwana na atilia neema ya watoto wetu ya watoto wetu wawe waaminifu kwa uh, kwa maisha yao yes. waaminifu nyumbani na hata shuleni na katika maisha yao pia bwana mm-hmm. nabariki television hii na the host Jehovah Mungu Grace yes. ninabariki maisha yake katika jina la Yesu natangaza television hii bwana itafikia mm-hmm. wengi na kile kinanenwa mm-hmm. hapa mfalme wa amani mm-hmm. itakuwa cha baraka katika jina la Yesu mm-hmm. na achilia ba- baraka zako kwa madhabahu haya nikitangaza yes. wamebarikiwa leo na hata milele Amen. kwa Kristo Yesu tumeomba na tumeamini Amen. 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 Thank you so much Reverend Damaris Moranja. Tuko tunakuleta for another part two of this. <laughs> But meanwhile mtazamaji ndakuwa ninakuacha na advertisements wa kadha wa kadha na Kuru College of Commerce and Hospitality mm-hmm. pale vyo Equator House of Fourth Floor next to Ereto Bookshop and ndakuwa nakuacha na advertisement ya successor uh, ya uh, Pastor Junior Lesido ndakuwa nakuacha na conference ya mm-hmm. hiyo ambayo itaanza kuanzia tarehe tano hadi tarehe tisa mwezi huu wa Julai 2023 pale hivyo Walmart uh, uh, Walmart uh, pale hivyo Walmart katika jiji la Nakuru ndakuwa na kuacha adv- na advertisement yao usisahau mamlaka song of the week kama ujifika pale hivyo ticketbase.com sijui unagoja nini fika pale hivyo ticketbase.com for all of the nominations ambayo it is free 
of Chad. No sisa hao niko na vitabu hape viko nye studio. Empowered in Salvation. Mia tatu peke yake. Written by Stephen Moasia. Na niko na vitabu za Bishop Ben Nganga. Battles from Bath. 500 shillings only. Niko na denied celebration. 500 only. 500 shillings. Na pia niko na oil of a family deliverer. Zote zinapatika na katika studio za Mamlaka TV. Na church ya chosen generation church. City sanctuary. Na pia Barnabas sanctuary. We meet tomorrow for another wonderful session. Hapa hivi katika studio zetu za Mamlaka breakfast. I've been your host Grace Njeri. Na kuwacha na advertisement wa kada wa kada. Na usisa hao tuko na lunch hours zetu. Hapa hivi kwenye kanisa la chosen generation church. City sanctuary from 12 p.m. all the way to 2 p.m. with our Reverend Patricia Benson. Now, sisa hao, uh, kuna kesha mbae kuhapa hivi Friday at Chosen Generation Church Barnaba Sanctuary. Uh, tunakutana pali before Judgment Night kesha. Now, sisa hao, on Sunday, kuna Children Dedication Service. Hapa hivi katika Chosen Generation Church City Sanctuary. All of this, for more information, you can call us, do the numbers below your screens. 0700-899-899 ama 0721-899-899. Thank you so much. Kutani Kishwa Subui. I've been your host, Grace Njeri.